A revelation from the cosmos has just arrived, carrying proof that might forever shift humanity's perspective on life in the universe. This isn't a message from aliens, but a chemical confession from the sky of a distant world. Hovering a mere 40 light years from our solar system within the water carrier constellation Aquarius, glimmers a faint, ruby colored star. T R A P P I S T 1. This aged, cool, celestial body emits just a sliver of our sun's radiance, yet it conceals an astonishing secret. Circling this miniature sun are seven terrestrial spheres, each remarkably similar to Earth in size. The universe seems to have crafted its own experimental setup here, probing whether biology can ignite around such a humble stellar host. Researchers have systematically disqualified most of these orbs as potential life-bearing worlds. Some proved excessively heated, others frigid, many apparently devoid of any protective gaseous shield. But one specific planet, T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1, consistently avoids rejection. Now, Groundbreaking measurements from the James Webb Space Telescope have delivered humanity's first genuine glimpse into this planet's atmospheric conditions. What researchers are observing defies all prior assumptions. Might this signify the first authentically Earth-like planet we've identified beyond our solar neighborhood? Could T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 E potentially nurture living organisms? Welcome to Winds of Thought where we delve into the universe's most captivating mysteries. Today, we journey to the T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1, system to scrutinize Webb's extraordinary new data. We'll assess the compelling indications of an atmosphere surrounding T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1, E decode what elements it might contain, and confront the pivotal question, could life emerge there? The quest for life starts where atmosphere dances with starlight. The transformative insight originates from an ingenious approach termed transmission spectroscopy. When T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 E crosses in front of its parent star, Webb's advanced instruments capture more than mere dimming. They dissect how the star's light transforms while penetrating any potential atmospheric gases enveloping the planet. Each molecular variety absorbs specific light wavelengths, generating unique spectral fingerprints. Deciphering these chemical codes across 40 light years allows us to reconstruct the atmosphere's composition. What revelations has this celestial inquiry uncovered? Initially, we can confidently eliminate several unpromising scenarios. T R A P P I S T 1. E doesn't retain its original hydrogen helium atmosphere, which was likely scraped away by intense stellar winds eons ago. It also lacks Venus's crushing carbon dioxide shroud while a thin, Mars-like gaseous veil appears equally improbable. Removing these uninhabitable options makes the remaining atmospheric models extraordinarily fascinating. The most exhilarating possibility involves a nitrogen-dominated atmosphere resembling our own planet's life-sustaining mixture. With comparable surface pressure, such an atmospheric blanket could efficiently redistribute thermal energy across the globe. This proves critically important since T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1. E is almost certainly tidally locked, one face permanently aimed at its star, the other shrouded in endless night. A substantial atmosphere might moderate these temperature extremes, potentially permitting a planet-wide ocean to persist. Where atmosphere endures, life may discover its doorway. But the celestial entity that provides life's opportunity might simultaneously deliver its doom. Red dwarf stars like T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 exhibit notoriously volatile behavior. They frequently unleash solar eruptions of catastrophic magnitude, an event matching the 1859 Carrington incident, which overwhelmed Earth's communication networks, occurs here nearly every week. This relentless radiation bombardment could have evaporated any protective atmospheric layer millennia ago, leaving behind a sterilized relic. So how might any atmosphere possibly survive this apocalyptic environment? The answer may be churning deep within the planet's core. If TRA-PPI-ST1E maintains a dynamic liquid metallic core, it could generate a powerful magnetic field. This invisible protective force 
would deflect the star's dangerous charged particles, safeguarding the atmosphere. Additionally, the planet's exceptionally tight and slightly elliptical orbit produces intense gravitational distortions. This tidal heating could warm the planet's internal machinery, driving massive volcanic activity that continuously replenishes atmospheric components, establishing a perpetual struggle between erosion and rebirth. The evidence remains persuasive, though not yet conclusive. Is T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 e a geologically vibrant world with defensive magnetic shielding and life-nurturing atmosphere? Or is it an icy, vacant sphere, its potential merely an astronomical illusion? Research teams are already refining their methodologies with additional web observations scheduled throughout the coming year. Subsequent data collections might finally detect the distinctive signature of carbon dioxide, a crucial milestone toward verifying habitable conditions. Humanity stands at the brink of a paradigm-shifting discovery. This investigation embodies our innate curiosity. Uncovering just one other inhabited world would permanently reshape our cosmic perspective. If this expedition through the stars captured your imagination, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing to Winds of Thought. Now I'm eager to hear your thoughts. Do you believe T R A P P I S T 1? E represents our most promising chance for discovering extraterrestrial biology, or will the ultimate answer emerge from elsewhere in the galaxy? What if the key to discovering life beyond Earth lies not in replicating our world, but in deciphering the secrets of a fundamentally alien sky? The answer might be written in the atmospheric chemistry of a distant world. Returning to T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1, E we encounter an atmospheric scenario quite different from Earth's. Instead of nitrogen and oxygen, imagine an atmosphere dominated by methane. This gas creates an inverse greenhouse phenomenon. T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 surface temperature measures approximately 2400 Kelvin, significantly cooler than our sun's 5670 Kelvin, with its energy output concentrated in near-infrared wavelengths. Methane molecules intercept this energy before it reaches the planetary surface, then radiate it back into space, producing a cooling effect throughout the atmosphere. For TRAPPIST1, E, which is likely gravitationally locked with one side always facing its star, this means liquid water might only persist on the sun-facing hemisphere. While no planet-wide ocean would form, these conditions aren't necessarily hostile to life. In fact, such environments might perfectly match Charles Darwin's concept of primordial warm ponds where life first emerged. Computer simulations and atmospheric models support this possibility. Even if T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1, E possesses limited water reserves, or if most water remains trapped on its permanent night side, the planet could still maintain a stable atmospheric envelope. However, this situation might create what scientists call terminator habitability, where life could only thrive within a narrow twilight band circling the planet where day meets night and eternal sunset. Surface water represents just one possibility for life. We know T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E is a rocky planet, though its exact composition remains mysterious. It might be an icy world with volcanic activity sustaining a subsurface ocean, similar to Jupiter's moon Europa or Saturn's Enceladus in our solar system. Many researchers believe life on Earth began near hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, and parallel processes could easily occur on T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E. Wherever water exists on this distant world, the potential for life emerges. There is an energy source, and potentially an atmosphere providing essential chemical building blocks. Nevertheless, a significant challenge remains. Despite these promising scenarios, astronomers cannot yet eliminate the possibility that T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E is actually a frozen, barren world completely lacking any atmosphere. So we must confront what could prevent atmospheric formation entirely. The primary obstacle is T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 itself, the host red dwarf star. Picture yourself standing beside me on T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1, E for just a moment. Gaze upward. 
the star would appear more than four times larger than our sun in the sky, glowing with a deep reddish-orange hue, casting perpetual sunset illumination across the landscape. What an incredible sight that would be. But red dwarfs prove extremely active, generating more powerful stellar flares than our sun with much greater frequency. The most severe geomagnetic storm recorded on Earth, the Carrington event of 1859, was considered a once-in-a-century occurrence. T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 produces flares of similar magnitude multiple times weekly. You'd probably witness solar flares arcing through space in real time. These eruptions carry enormous energy toward orbiting planets, enough that over time they could completely strip away any atmosphere, rendering life nearly impossible. This assumes an atmosphere ever managed to form in the first place. Red dwarfs possess astonishingly long lifespans. T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 will likely continue shining for 10 trillion more years, about 700 times the current age of the universe. By comparison, our sun has roughly 5 billion years remaining before becoming a red giant. You might think such longevity would provide ample opportunity for life to develop, but there's a catch. Because red dwarfs live so long, their turbulent adolescent phase, when they exhibit chaotic and energetic behavior before stabilizing, correspondingly extends over billions of years. During these formative epochs, planets typically begin generating their own atmospheres, gradually replacing their original hydrogen-helium envelopes with heavier gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and methane released through volcanic activity. The difficulty is that if the star's atmosphere stripping phase persists too long, an Earth-sized planet might exhaust its internal resources before establishing a stable, life-supporting secondary atmosphere. The grim reality is that if a planet fails to develop a substantial atmosphere within about 5 billion years, it may never do so effectively receiving a death sentence before life ever gains a foothold. In the cosmic dance of creation and destruction, atmosphere is the delicate balance between life and oblivion. I understand this sounds rather discouraging for T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E, and you're probably wondering how this qualifies as one of our most promising exoplanets. But we simply don't know yet whether an atmosphere has survived there we've already detected suggestive hints of its presence. Interestingly, the star's violent outbursts that might destroy atmospheres could also be essential for life's beginnings. Ultraviolet radiation from flares might provide the necessary energy to create RNA building blocks, molecules fundamental to all known life forms. Now that T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1 has entered its calmer main sequence phase with reduced UV and X-ray radiation compared to its youth, the possibility exists for a stable, habitable atmosphere on T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E. Such an atmosphere could gain protection from continuing stellar flares through a planetary magnetic field, similar to Earth's defense system. Earth's magnetic field originates from its liquid iron-nickel outer core in motion, and T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1, E likely operates similarly. In fact, the planet's close orbit might actually enhance its magnetic field. If T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E follows an eccentric path around its star, this would cause repeated compression and relaxation of the planet's structure. This process generates internal friction that could heat the planetary interior by approximately 0.18 watts per square meter, roughly 24 times the tidal heating experienced by Earth. We observe similar mechanisms on Jupiter's moon Io, which being tidally locked with an eccentric orbit gets constantly stretched and compressed by gravitational interactions with other Jovian moons. This pumps tremendous energy into Io, making it the most volcanically active body in our solar system. So where does this leave us in our assessment? We might have an Earth-sized, volcanically active, rocky world with life's basic ingredients, its own protective atmosphere and magnetic field, orbiting within the habitable zone of a relatively calm red dwarf. Or we might be looking at a cold, dead planet. Share in the comments which scenario you believe will ultimately be confirmed. We may need to wait until the proposed Habitable Worlds Observatory, a telescope specifically designed to search for life around sun-like stars, launches in 2041 for definitive answers. Until then, James Webb Space Telescope observations remain our best opportunity. The mere fact that we can measure light absorption through a thin gaseous layer around a rocky planet orbiting a dim red dwarf 40 light years away is truly extraordinary. Sometimes the most profound discoveries begin by reading the light that passes through another world's breath. 
Scientists continue refining their methods, having learned from initial web data sets and improved their techniques for greater precision. With 15 additional transit observations planned before December, researchers expect to determine the presence or absence of carbon dioxide and confirm a secondary atmosphere. A crucial step in the search for life on T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E, perhaps T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E and its neighboring worlds will reveal uniquely inhospitable atmospheres, or maybe ones that could theoretically support life, or just possibly we'll find an environment strikingly similar to home. It's thrilling to encounter such life potential relatively nearby, even within an extreme stellar environment, whatever atmosphere T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1. E ultimately reveals, given recent discoveries of formations on Mars that some scientists argue require biological activity, I can't escape the feeling that detecting extraterrestrial life seems inevitable. The only remaining question is, when will that moment arrive? If this journey through cosmic possibilities captured your imagination, demonstrate your support by liking this video and subscribing to Winds of Thought for more explorations of the universe's greatest mysteries.